learning about another peculiar event in the Bible, there may see and know that Jesus is both our humble Savior and Lord our King. But before that, let's check our Bible verse. Hi kids, it's time to learn today's Bible verse. Our verse is found in Revelation chapter 19 verse 11. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True, with justice and judges, and wages war. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. Kids, would you all stand up and say the verse with me? Everybody ready? Repeat after me. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. The justice the judges and wages war. Revelation. Chapter 19, verse 11. That was good, kids. Let's do it again. Will you say it with me this time? Okay. In 3, 2, 1, go. Revelation, chapter 19, verse 11. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me, was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True, with justice new judges and wages war. Revelation chapter 19 verse 11. That was great, but can I have a little bit more energy? Let's say it again. Can we make it much louder this time? Can we do that? Great! Are you ready? Okay, for the last time. Here we go. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice he judges and wages war. Revelation chapter 19, verse 11. Great job, boys and girls. You may now have a seat. Down, 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 I believe what I found When I'm looking down 
God's word and I search for him, he rewards me, cause he loves me. God made me, he made everything, God loves me, he can do anything, if I run over here, if I run over there, God is everywhere, and he loves me. Search for him, he rewards me Cause he loves me When I look up, up, up I know he's real When I look down, down, down I believe what I found When I look in God's word And I search for him, he rewards me Cause he loves me Cause he loves me
Today is our last lesson about strange events in the Bible. We are going to learn some things about Jesus that you may not have heard before and how the future will be affected by his actions. Our scripture is from Revelation. That's a pathetic book written by the Apostle John about God's power, judgment, and restoration. When I say warrior king, what picture comes to your mind? And uh, what kind of things do you think you need to be a warrior king? Normally, you think of someone that wears a crown, holding a sword or a scepter, riding on a bird, strong words, wearing a hat, wearing a great white armor, maybe lives in a castle that rules a country with so many people with great power and authority. There's a lot of things like that. Revelation chapter 19, verses 11 to 16. Kids, this talks about a future warrior king. The apostle Paul said in this passage that he saw the head of open. He saw a white horse there. There was a man riding the horse, and he is called a faithful, honest person. He is almost judges people, and he goes to punish them in water. Why does this seem odd? Because the first time Jesus came to earth, he preached about loving one another and living in peace. Does this mean at least one part of the Bible is first about Jesus? Hmm, no. Of course not. It is because Jesus came as our Savior when he was born on earth. But in the future, he will come as our reigning king. Apostle John described the man with eyes burning like bright flames of fire. Many crowns are on his head. He has a name that is written on him. But nobody knows that name except himself. He wears a long shirt with a lot of blood on it. His name is the Word of God. Heaven's armies were thrown in him. They were all surrounded by white horses. They were wearing linen clothes that were white and clean. A sharp sword was coming out of his mouth. He would use the sword to attack the people of all the nations of the world. And he will rule them with strong authority. He will punish them like somewhat that's a great in wine press. That will show God's great anger against them. Why is it necessary for Jesus to return as a warrior? Or well, because he is to rid the world of Satan and sin all eternity. He is the Almighty God. The man who rides in the white horse has name that is written in his turn. It is also written high on his leg. His name is the King who rules over all other kings. The Lord who rules over all lords. Let's play a short game. I will draw a picture and you try to get it as fast as you can. Okay, let's start. So, what do you think this is?
tells about Jesus returning to earth as a warrior. He will lead a heavenly war against the enemies of God. Those who rebel against God and refuse to obey Him. So why is it important to know the truth? Because it helps us understand who Jesus really is so we can defend our faith. You know, the Bible tells us what is true about Jesus. So even if something we learn makes us uncomfortable, we can ask God to help us understand and trust in His Word. Jesus will one day return as our warrior king. He will defeat the enemies of God. Those who refuse to believe Him and rebel against Him. Furthermore, His actions as a warrior will extinguish sin from the earth so God's dwelling can be with us like He intended at the beginning of creation. Yes, Jesus first came as a sacrifice to provide salvation to the world. But He isn't finished yet. Yes, because we know God's word is true. We can find comfort in this prophecy while feeding the warning of Jesus' future return. Let us pray together. God, thank you for teaching us more about Jesus. Help us to trust in the truth of your word. At times, when you learn something that makes us uncomfortable, we know that we can always come to you. And you would help us understand and believe in your word. Thank you for your love and for sending Jesus to die for our sins. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you.